All right, let's go ahead and make a melee. New object, sprite. Call this platform. Add an animation. And we'll just make a little quick platform. Edit collision mask. Oh, you know, we got to add the platform uh, behavior. Okay. So here we have a platform. It's very nice. Now let's go ahead and create a sprite. Call this hero. And I'll just draw a... Quite a nice hero. Okay, we'll call this idle. And then we'll add an animation. And we'll call this attack. So I'm just going to draw a side view of the guy. And then I'll draw a little sword. And some All right, I'm going to clone it. And then I'm going to Move these arms raise the sword On that one, all right, so there's my there's my guy. Actually, let me erase these. All right, so now I have my fancy guy. I'll just delete that one. Apply. So here's my hero. Edit the collision mask. All right, that's good enough. Okay, 
So here's my guy. And then I'll add an enemy. All right, now let's go ahead and get to our event. All right, first thing I want to do is create a new event. And I want to create my variables, my scene variables. So, let's type in scene. And then where is the scene variable? value of scene variable and I want to call this attack equal to zero okay then I want to copy this paste it here and change that to one. Now I'm going to set the animation of hero and I'm going to use idle and then I'm going to copy this paste it and then I'm going to change this one to attack okay so now our variable 0 is idle our variable 1 is attack Add a new event, and we're going to go at the beginning of the scene, let's go ahead and change the scene variable where's scene variable variable attacking I mean attack attack and we'll set this to zero Okay, so at the beginning of the scene, the attack is, is going to be set to zero, which is idle, right? Next, let's go ahead and move that up. So that's the beginning. Now let's add our flipping of the guy. Add new event. And this one's going to be key pressed. And we'll go ahead and say when the left key is pressed, we want him to flip horizontally. And then we'll copy this and paste it. And we'll change this one to right. Not our fight, right.
Oh, this one is yes. Okay, so left key, flip horizontally, yes. Right key, flip horizontally, no. Okay, now, add a condition. Animation. Current animation name for the hero is attack. Attack. Okay, current, ima uh, current animation of hero is attack. And then we're going to go finished. Animation finished for the hero. Okay, so the animation attack is going to play. And then it's going to finish, and then we're going to trigger that once, so it only happens once. So, attack goes, it finishes, it happens only once, and we change the scene variable to zero on the attack. Scene. that variable I'm not seeing it oh here we go scene variable okay the variable is attack set to oh it doesn't need to be quoted. Okay, set to zero. All right, so what's happening here is after it runs through this uh, attack animation, it changes the scene variable to zero. And we know the attack variable for zero is set the guy to idle. All right, let's see what's going on. Uh oh, we have a problem. Our hero does not have the behavior of the platformer. All right, let's try that again. All right, left and right works. Now let's hit the Z. Oh, I'm, was it Z? Oh, we, ha we haven't uh, put in the attack yet. Okay, so we forgot a crucial, crucial step. There is no uh, button that we set up to attack. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, key pressed. And I'm going to choose the Z key, but you can choose any key you want. So when the Z key is pressed, I'm going to go to animation, attack. I'm going to I'm going to invert this. And then I'm going to add to change a scene variable. I'll just copy this right here. Copy. Paste it. And then we have to change the scene variable to one, right? So now let's review. 
at the beginning of the scene we're changing the scene variable of attack to zero and we know zero is idle and one is going to be the attack animation when the left key is pressed we're flipping the hero horizontally so he looks left and we're not flipping him when he goes right because he's already going right then we have the animation attack finishes once it's going to change the scene variable to zero which is going to be idle and then if we hit the Z key we're going to change the variable to one which is attack so let's hope it works left and right is nice it's switching and here's the Z and then we have our exciting battle all right let's go ahead and create the collision to get rid of the bad guy add new events add a condition if the hero is in collision with the back I called it bad guy if hero is in collision with bad guy we'll delete bad guy bad guy and then we're going to trigger once actually this is not good this is not good we're going to get rid of this okay so when the hero is in collision with the bad guy we're going to trigger once and then we're going to add some sub events in here so that when the scene variable one he's attacking is happening then it deletes the bad guy right so scene variable okay attack is equal to one right so when the attack one is happening it deletes the bad guy that way if it just if he just walks into him he shouldn't uh, it shouldn't delete him and it's not so that's good and then let's there we go so it only works when we're hitting our Z button and the attack happens and there you go there's your melee